So there was a huge release. Windows 11's coming out. Everyone's excited. You sign up for the Windows Insider program. You installed Windows 11, and it wasn't what you expected. It is a beta. There's a lot of little issues. If you're like me, and you jumped right on it, and it wasn't what you expected... <laughs> There's a way to roll it back to Windows 10, and I'll show you how. So we're gonna begin at the desktop of Windows 11, and you have the start bar at the bottom. And what we wanna do is we wanna click on the Windows icon, which is located just on the left. This is from a fresh installation, so yours, your interface should look very similar to this. So when we click on that, we have the user icon right here. We wanna click on that. We wanna select it and then go to Change Account Settings. So it's gonna bring up the Settings window right now and we have all the account information and we wanna select the Windows Update icon on the left-hand side in the menu. And in here, we wanna look for advanced options. Inside advanced options, we're gonna go a little bit further down under additional options and look for recovery. Select recovery and then we get this option for going back. So when you click on this, there's a little button on the right-hand side, you can click on it and now we're going to get the options to start recovering back to Windows 10. And here we go. It's asking for a couple little options here. It's a survey because it's a survey. I recommend you do it because this is how they improve it. So you can just select the options that you want. I think that the older version was definitely faster. It was slow for me when I was running it, even though I had the minimum requirements. Now it's asking if you want to check for updates. It's still trying to push it. It wants you to still continue, but you can just click on no thanks. And next, what you need to know, they're just giving you a little bit of a warning here. And it's important to note this, that once you go back, then you might have to reinstall some applications and any changes that have done once you've upgraded to Windows 11 are most likely gonna be removed. So you're gonna be losing some files and possibly applications. So anything that's really, really important, you wanna make sure that you back it up before you click on next. So we click on next, it says don't get locked out, use your password to sign in. So you had to make sure that you also know your Windows 10 password before you had switched over. It should be the same password. Once you're done with that, you can click on next and then you're ready to go ahead and go back to Windows 10. So basically you just click on this button. It's now gonna shut down the computer completely. It's gonna restart it and then it's gonna make the changes. This process for me took about two to three minutes. Uh, it really depends on the spec of your system. Once it's completed, you'll go back to a Windows 10 sign-in screen. And I'm just jumping to that sign-in screen right now. So it goes back, it looks exactly the way it did before. You just type in your username and password and voila, you're back to the Windows 10 desktop and you can just start using it like you were before. There's nothing really that needs to be done. If you did have any files that you backed up, you can just copy it back to your Windows 10 PC and you're up and running. So that's it, it's pretty straightforward, pretty quick to do as well. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this video was useful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for other tips and tricks related to Windows, virtual machines, or tech in general, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.